Welcome to the Kawartha Small Business Podcast, where we believe the Kawarthas can be the most thriving region in Canada for small business. I'm Brian Rump from Profit Coach. And I'm Matt Garrity of Managy Digital. And before we get started, head over to uh, Kawartha Small Business Podcast.ca slash checklist and download Matt and Brian's marketing checklist for Kawartha Small Businesses. Uh, right, Matt. Today we are live from the Thrive Podcast Studio at Thrive Coworking Community in downtown Lindsay, and this is our inaugural, inaugural uh, episode uh, that we're calling live coaching. It's not really live, um, but we wanted to have a podcast where we just coach small businesses through something about their business. And uh, we don't have a guest today, which is partly our own uh, failure. But I think uh, what we're going to talk about is we're going to coach ourselves. Um, and it also gives us an opportunity to uh, talk to listeners about what it actually means for live coaching. Because I think when you see that, a lot of people are like, oh, I want to see that but I don't want to be part of it. (laughs) I don't want to be on the hot seat. I'm not sure what they're going to ask me. Um, Maybe people are not comfortable sharing certain aspects of their business live on a podcast. Um, Often when we talk on a podcast, we're talking about maybe some past stories, maybe some future dreams, but rarely are we talking about things that are happening right now live in a business that might make you feel vulnerable. Um, Mm. So I think my goal for this episode is to make people feel comfortable that we're not going to sewer you. (laughs) We're going to find out what limits are. Some people are totally cool, uh, like talking about anything openly, uh, which is awesome. Uh, some people we've talked about, you know, might want to record it, but wait a few months before we actually send it live. So that's an option as well. Uh, but really, we, we're hoping that some listeners are like, yeah, I want, I'll want, i volunteer. I'll be on the, the show for that. I have a question that I would like to pose you and get a live answer to. Yeah, I think the live coaching aspect to me is basically just sitting down with someone that has a business or is thinking about starting a business, has a hobby business, has a thriving business. And we, the life coaching comes from us. I think we're just being unprepared, right? And we just basically, yeah, we're jumping into a conversation, but instead, because we are somewhat anti telling people what to do and how to do it, especially on the podcast, this is never meant to be a how to, but this one's a bit more, on the fly, ask questions, give some guidance and some coaching and see kind of what comes of it. It's not meant to be a lecture or criticizing. We would never do that. I hope people that have listened know that, but it just the live idea to me is how do we on the fly give our expertise? Yeah. And I think it's important that on the fly and as much as we don't prepare, like I do some things to kind of prepare I talk about it, or I have frameworks for success, which I talk about. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you just need to see what those look like in action. Because really the answer to everything is mm-hmm. it depends. But there's frameworks that help us make those decisions. Um, we both have experiences, different types of experience of like where you now guide people differently, right? And those experience could be things that we've specifically done, things that people we've worked with have done. And that's what makes a coach. And, you know, we've talked before about how much I used to hate the word coach. Yeah. I've reluctantly adopted it um, because I don't see myself as a cheerleader. And if it's a hockey team, I don't necessarily see myself as like the head coach. I might be more the guy you go see in the summertime to get better at something or give you a perspective on your play or something that's going to maybe help you extend your career or do something different. Like that's where I get more excited. And sometimes those are the things where you just have to see it a little bit. Yeah. Um, And it might not be a perfect flashy, completely scripted kind of session. Um, 
but it's going to give you an idea of like what in my bag of tricks can I access in this improv sort of environment um, to sort of prove that I can help guide you through something. Yeah, for sure. So I don't know how we're going to do this, so I'm just going to jump into it. But as the podcast then, what's our problem right now? Like, what do we want to do with the podcast then from a marketing perspective? Or maybe that's not the issue right now, but like, what do we want from the podcast? Yeah, that's a good question. And I was going to say, you know, for a coaching session, sometimes the best thing to do is try to anchor with one specific question. And that could be, what is the podcast? <laughs> or what do we want to do with the podcast? Um, and I think that's a good place to start because, it, again, it depends. Um, I think we are at, we're almost at 100 episodes. So this summer, our 100th episode is going to launch. Uh, we started recording two years ago. And we when we launched in October, we launched, I think, the first couple months, we did two a week where we launched them to try to get some traction we had pre-recorded those, um, but we knew that podcasts fail. Like I think seven's the magic number. Most don't even get there. That's the um, average amount of episodes in a podcast. So seven. Um, yeah. So for us to even have a hundred episodes is a giant victory. I think we did this firstly for fun. It's been a way to get to know each other, work together. It's a way to create something for businesses in the Kawartha Lakes. Um, not necessarily geographically bound, but small business, small town. We didn't want to be a big, fancy, scripted podcast. Uh, we didn't want to be a how-to. We didn't want to be a place to come peddle the thing you're trying to sell. Uh, so I think we've gone through a phase of like just trying to rage against what we're not. <laughs> and now it's like, well, what do we want it to be? Um, so if you were to just answer that question, what do we want to be? What's your answer? Yeah, I would, as I asked the question, I'm like now I'm really interested to hear what you have to say. <laughs> and again, because we didn't script or talk about this at <laughs> all, like are we on the same page? We always all like are somewhat on the same page. I agree with everything that you said. The podcast was, to me another element for awareness for me and Managing Digital. Um, I wanted it to be something local, like you said, specifically, um, and just kind of be another channel for me to get my name out there on. I don't want anything that you just described as the podcast to change. I don't want it to be how-tos. I don't want it to be um, the Kawartha Big Business Podcast I, I want it to be relevant and, and interesting and valuable to people like business owners in the Corthas. I don't want that to ever change. I don't want to sound like a dink for saying that. But the one thing I would like to see from the podcast, and like there's a like a at a minimum, uh, is I would like to see us generate revenue from it. And we talked about this for years and we didn't, we went down the route and came really close with a couple people. And I don't know if we need to pat ourselves on the back for this, but like we basically stopped that ourselves. Like we stopped, we, we turned that money away from a couple people that were willing to do sponsorships. Right. Um, Cause that never felt right. But I would like to at a minimum cover our costs of our marketing costs, not really our time costs, but I would like at a minimum to get some work out of this. And I have an idea as where that could go, but I would like to see us generate revenue from the podcast. Okay, yeah. That's an interesting conversation to go down. And I, I think we'll, we'll circle back to it in a second because there's a few ways to look at it from a revenue standpoint. And I think what's neat is when you look at the landscape of podcasts, there's some who revenue just equals listens. So yeah. it's like, hey, we have this number of listeners. This is who they are. Give us money, right? So pillow companies, you know, Squarespace, there are certain advertisers who just, they go for uh, podcasts. People listen to podcasts and they're like, how many listeners do you have? And there's a bit of a formula for how much money you can charge kind of per episode based on your listenership. Um, 
we're not really near that. We, again, we haven't, if we were, if we wanted that, then our goal would be number of listeners. We would want mm. to be really hustling our marketing to specific listens, to specific downloads. We wouldn't care as much about um, maybe who it's for or that it's for a region. And because at this point we've chosen the strategy of let's create something really good for people locally that we actually want them to listen to. Yeah. Um, the trade-off for that is we have, I'm very proud that I think we have dozens of committed listeners, but we don't have thousands no. of people that are listening from all over the place, um, which I think is good, but that also is like Squarespace isn't going to give us money because our market's just too, too small. Yeah. I definitely don't want, well, I do want Squarespace to give us money, but the, the way that we were going originally was people would reach out to us and say, Hey, I'd love to be on your podcast. And like, I would love to like, do some sponsorship or whatever with you or like, Hey, I would love to do some sponsorship with you. Can we do an interview? And then the reason why we didn't like that, not to speak for you, but the reason why we didn't like that is we didn't want people then to think that they could buy their way onto this channel. And then the listeners, the, the five devoted listeners or whatever that we have, I didn't want them to now think like, this is no longer going to be a valuable conversation to listen to. This is clearly like people buying their way on and it's completely changed what we were trying to do and achieve. So that's why we walked away from that. Where I'd be happy to go and revisit with you. This is actually now fascinating because I didn't mean to have this conversation with you. I would be willing to revisit the sponsorship, but not like pay for an interview so if they were like hey i'd love to uh, sponsor the episode like you put my name in the intro you explain who i am i would be fine revisiting that i don't want them to then expect an obligation of an interview or something like that because the more podcasts i listen to they're all kind of like that. The one that you're alluding to that we listen to, you got me into, it's like, it's always Squarespace. And uh, there's, the, there's the internet one that they talk about. All the yeah. time. That's really interesting. Cause I hear that advertising every time. I'm like, well, I got to check those guys out. The, my pillow is like classic. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to say their name, but like the pillow company. Well, maybe their <laughs> bots will find us and be like, here's some money guys. You, would you um, take money from that guy? Uh, yeah, no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird question because it's like a hypothetical, but we're, we don't have like, we don't have the commitment to the stats for that. And no. I think that's where, um, you know, again, I'm open to, if someone's listening to this, like, Hey, I'd like to uh, sponsor where I don't want to get stuck is like hustling for that because you do need a pitch obviously. Cause if people are yeah. looking for impressions, we're not getting you a lot of impressions. Mm. At the same time, if it if there's a really tight alignment, we do have a pretty tight following. So sponsoring us might be a great way to get a few leads. So if you really know your your market and you know that, you know, I know I work with some businesses where a thousand dollars for a quality lead is sort of their budget. Yeah. So if they're like, hey, here's a couple hundred bucks to sponsor an episode and once every five episodes they get a quality lead then they'd be super happy with that yeah um, so it's finding those businesses that want to do that and that's a lot of work for two hundred dollars so when we look at revenue we don't want to become a business that's creating something for the sole purpose of finding those sponsorships I think that's why people like the podcast too. And from the feedback I've received, sometimes literally on the street, where I think people just like that it is casual, it's conversational. We're not trying to sell them anything, even though like we kind of are trying to sell ourselves in so many ways. However, like we're not out here hard selling. But I, I think I wouldn't want to see that change. Yeah, I like the idea of figuring some things out to cover our costs. Yeah. There are costs to do it. They're not crazy high, um, I think, for what we 
put in and you know we've both made relationships out of it we've had people absolutely come that we've done business with or we we will eventually do business with i think absolutely uh, they've referred us to people so it's definitely been worth it that way i think some of our future plans we want to really upgrade our equipment you know we want to do video we'd love to have some edited video these things is where kind of the real money is like mm -hmm. you know right now we're both spending some money but it's not it's not an insane amount of money but to you know triple what we're spending without knowing how we're getting that back is is hard um so we do have some ways we want to go and you know make a better podcast promote it better yeah um do those things in a way that still serves our core purpose um, so I do think maybe finding those right partnerships where our listenership does equate to who's wants to sponsor it. I think it's becoming an easier sell with a hundred episodes mm -hmm. versus, Hey, we have 10 episodes. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to get stat driven in terms of like the number of people. Cause we do have it. It's really neat. You know, when, our, when we launch an episode, our site traffic spikes. Yeah. When we have certain people on, uh, like Louis Segarra, it spiked a lot more. Um, I think there's a lot we can do um, with highlighting more local businesses, which I think we want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think as much as we didn't want to do sponsored content, I think what I would, and we've talked about this a little bit, but this is a fun way to openly talk about it, is in the work I do and you do in marketing and messaging, I think podcasts and creating content is so important to marketing that I think we could do sponsored uh, podcasts where we put in a bit of prep Mm. But really, it's for the purpose of creating content that that business could piece apart and reuse, um, whether they hire Maddie G Digital to do some of that or not, I think is a way where we could do that and air it through this channel because it would be interesting stuff. Uh, we're not going to do it because someone who's like, here's a bag of money <laughs> and let's, you know, annoy your listeners. Uh, but I can think of a lot of businesses that I've worked with that I'm like, oh, other people would love to know oh, that this is the problem you solve. And and that's where, you know, it's not just being on the podcast that makes money. It's some services around that in terms of getting that messaging straight, prepping it, possibly turning it into content, using that content to for their own marketing activities and sales funnels. Like, I think that's a way that we can go to be able to monetize this. That's cool. What I think would really work from that perspective then is anytime someone was designing a website and needed to write copy or the words for their website, get them on a podcast, charge them for it, and then what we can do is either you take that podcast recording, then like you said, we would prepare that because then there would be specific questions we would have to ask and we're going to get better answers conversationally. Yeah. I've been through hundreds, let's say at least a hundred website projects. And whenever someone writes their own copy in their words, I'm going to get myself in trouble, but it's terrible. Some of the worst web pages we've ever designed are because we let the client write the things themselves. Um, there's an about page on a website that we've done, which is two sentences long, because that's all we got from those people. Um, so it's challenging for people to write things, even when like I've got, in my opinion, a very good onboarding process. And I've got this very beautiful onboarding um, document that I have people fill out. And even that sometimes you're pulling teeth with it and you're kind of having to like, um, to, to, to figure a lot of stuff out to actually write a page. People are different when you get them conversationally. Like we can warm them up and get them talking. It might scare them a little bit being recorded. I think it'd be different if they're on camera. Like I fold on camera, so it wouldn't be very good. But I think it would be fascinating to charge them for here, we're going to write your copy. Or at a minimum, we're going to do this podcast. We're going to ask you these questions and you get the recording. 
now you can take that recording and you can go pay someone to transcribe that. It's like X cents per word online, or you can turn around to your marketer or whoever, and you can like type it out yourself or then pull it together yourself. That's a good service. That's a really interesting service that I would be willing to like to sell tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And I think, um, you know, there's a few prospects that I know are in your pipeline where I'd yeah. love to do that type of thing with them. I think it's something where we can record that episode, hold it till they're launched. Yeah. This can be part of that launch. So we're helping with the, the awareness of that. I think just talking out your business. And I think, you know, if I prepare a little bit, there's some very good questions I can yeah. ask people where we're not giving private information away. We're not saying how much is, how much do you make every day or how much do you pay yourself? You know, <laughs> sort of the stuff people would love to hear, but they don't always want to talk about. Yeah. But people want to talk about what they do. They want to help talk about the problem they solve. Um, they want to generate awareness. Mm -hmm. And this is a great way to do that um, awareness and enlightenment to be able to like really understand what they do. Mm -hmm. um, and to me, that's the power of podcasting. Uh, a quick example. This is a, there's a client I'm working with. I won't mention the name of the company. It's not local. It's in the um, United States. They are in the process of launching a software that they've developed. that takes something that's very complicated and makes it, pretty simple uh, which is kind of neat and we're creating a lead generator for them and I tricked them into thinking they were on a podcast just to like structure questions and to get this person comfortable they went oh I'm on a camera and the way they spoke and the stuff we've pulled out of that is like many lead generators worth of stuff like some people just might charge thousands and like a a big time content marketer would probably take that 30 minute conversation and they could create probably tens of thousands of dollars worth of oh collateral God. from that. And I think we can do that for core for small businesses at not that much, but at a price that makes sense for those businesses to be able to really clearly talk about what they do. Well, if you want to start thinking about like the price structure of it, not to put prices on it, but from the Donald Miller um, way of thinking of you can have your cheap service. I don't know if he calls that his cheap service, but the cheap one would be you come here, we have prepared questions as marketers, as business coaches, as people with experience in business. Get those answers out of you in a way that you're probably pretty comfortable with conversationally. And then we send you that recording. That's it. Yeah, you can have your own copy of figure the recording. Out, figure out what you want to do with it. Then the premium service would be now you have, no, it's not even the premium because I've got another idea. So like the middle idea then would be, we're going to take this and we're going to put together your website and maybe pull together like a brand message playbook or like here's some like stuff I would say on social media, not full descriptions, but here's some taglines. I do this for myself. Yeah. Whenever I write copy, I, I go through a website app and I pull like sentences that I'm going to use over and over again. That would be number two. And then like the premium one would be, maybe it's a menu or you could price this any way you want it, but it could be, okay, instead of these poll ideas, here's like a month worth of social copy. Here's a lead generator. Here's an ebook. Here is all these different things completely done for you. You could basically build your marketing campaign for a year, at least just with that idea. I think so. Look yeah. at you. Like, you're so happy right now. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, no. you're like, this is such a good idea. Yeah, I've uh, had this stuff in my head. Yeah. Specifically, there's a few people I've been like, we could do this. It might take a few conversations, mm. um, but I think it's all interesting stuff for like other business owners to hear. And the people we work with and want to do this for are the types of people we want to hear in our community. And in general, I think this podcast is to create that community cheer each other on yeah. showcase some businesses but also it helps us better understand what they do yes 
which is all marketing, right? So, uh, you, you know, it's been a, this has been an awesome conversation. Um, it's kind of gone, it, I think, in areas where we're both on the same page, but we, you know, we haven't talked about some of these yeah. details. Um, but I think to me, that's more interesting than okay, Brian, let's go hustle people, let's go knocking on doors and ask for sponsorship. Because there's probably some people who would just give us some money to like, sure, you know, oh yeah, sure, I'll pay for some impressions or you know. And then there's people there's that are going to give us money that we don't want their money to. Yeah, you know, like people that frankly we think are assholes. Yeah, <laughs> and so, we don't uh, really want their money. Yeah, it doesn't align with our values. We're not quite sure what what they're doing. So like, I don't want to be playing that game. Um, I want it to be where we can do both. Right? We want to be able to create. Uh, you know, business conversations mm-hmm. uh, in a set amount of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to promote the community. We want it to be a thriving place to do business. You know, we are, as much as we're 100 episodes in, um, we are so far at the beginning of this venture. Yeah. Both of our businesses, so many people don't know who we are. So many people don't even know what our podcast is yet. Uh, we have some business owners who are like, yeah, I listen to you in the car on my way to work. Like that's, that's the whole idea. Uh, but there's thousands of businesses in the Kawartha, greater Kawartha region who don't listen to us. So like we just have so much more to like capture and promote and create that thriving region that we want to create. Yeah. It's interesting. The whole podcast thing, like in the last week I've spoken to someone that we just had on the podcast that is a listener of the show i had a meeting with someone that is a listener of the show and we had someone that doesn't even know what podcast is and was asking us for our recommendation on podcast like it's still such a new idea for people it's slowly replacing audiobooks in so many ways which i think replaced radio so like we're seeing that evolution of people that are traveling um or during their work day, maybe you're going to see podcast listening going down in so many ways if more and more people are working from home and they're not in their car. Because most of the people we talk to, and I've started doing it myself now, and I'm alone in the car driving somewhere, I'll listen to a podcast. And maybe that will start to go down and people will listen to it in different ways. I am so easily distracted. I cannot listen to a podcast and do work. I've tried to do both. But the, they'll bleed into each other, meaning like I won't be listening to the podcast or I find I'm like typing out the things I'm hearing on yeah. the podcast, which is not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I think, you know, the, the medium's going to grow, I think. Um, just there's a lot of businesses who, who need this. There's a lot in the community, too, people who just want to know what's going on with different yeah. businesses. And, and that, I think, no matter what we do, is at the core what we're doing but then the realities are you know we need to have a selfish aspect which is we both want to make some money off of it or at least not lose time and money i think it's been valuable investment so far we've both made connections because of it that have earned us some money i think there's a uh, sort of a long way to go just to a sell services to help create sales funnels for other people mm-hmm. and i think there's also ways where we can both talk about our own businesses and problems we solve a little bit more clearly mm-hmm. to just continue to generate um, awareness for ourselves and our own businesses yeah it's interesting thinking of all the things we've talked about on ways to generate revenue from it or where i thought this was going to go today and it's not what i thought but it is also funny and i I think I know why you're smiling so much is because we've had these conversations over and over and over again. And I've always been like, yeah, that's a good idea. But now I'm like, this is a really good idea. (laughs) And now I see like the revenue, like the actual business side of it and why it makes so much sense. And like, yeah, you said we're not spending a lot of money on this, but I bet you we're spending more money than a lot of other local podcasts at least. because So many people try to hack it and spend zero dollars. Uh, we are not spending zero dollars for sure. No, and like you're spending time with this stuff and our time aside, but 
like we're using starting point for the website. We're using starting point for the social media marketing every month to build that awareness, like those, that hosting cost on Squarespace. Um, maybe if I say Squarespace more, they'd be willing to Squarespace, use this. Squarespace. Yeah. Squarespace. I think that's actually a great sponsorship for us because that would make perfect. If more and more people knew about Squarespace locally and they could come talk to us about it. That's great. But anyways, like we're spending money on all these things. I think a lot of other people, at least locally, aren't going to be doing. But that's where our business minds and expertise comes from and why we think that this can be a thriving podcast and valuable to people because we're letting people know that it exists. So, Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I really, uh, it's been a great conversation. <laughs> uh, again, I think what's cool about coaching, we start with, you know, a big question and a focus. We've pulled from a lot of different things. It's a little bit different because we're talking, our, you know, through ourselves, things we're talking about. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, we get maybe a broader vision than what we came in with. We both have things we've talked about or discovered in this, you know, we're just over 30 minutes uh, that we didn't walk in here with. Uh, we probably have at least a couple tangible ideas that could make us money. So if we were paying for this session, there's a clear way to be envision how that makes you money. Right. And that's the point of coaching as well. When you invest in that is, you know, you're not always going to get an immediate return that day, but it should always be contributing to a long term um, uh, return on that investment. Um, and I think we we have that. We have some things we're going to talk about more in detail. We're going to go you know, look down some avenues, make some plans. Uh, but I think our listeners are going to know they're getting better and better products like we definitely want to have other businesses in here next time to do the live coaching but do you think that anyone would find it valuable if we talked about the podcast quarterly and did a live coaching for the podcast or is that too self-serving because i do think like we've spoken a bunch before i can't remember like we did it before october and then the year before and like we we haven't had like a good podcast check-in in a long time and that's because of the distraction of thrive frankly um but do you think that that's valuable to do here that's a good idea and i think uh you know part of you know we use the toss around the buzzword of authenticity and being open um is i think we could record and post those um conversations and lead with that you know i think too in another plan of you know sharing more about our own businesses again there's certain things that i you know we're each guarded about in terms of what we want to do but we also have to lead with being willing to open up a little bit you know be a bit vulnerable about certain things um so i think it's a good good idea i mean our listeners will uh tell us about that um, whether they like it or not but i think in general you know we want to grow and bring on new listeners i think our core listeners some of them were at the point where uh, you know they're coming to our events we've heard from them they sure. do care more so they probably like want to hear more about yeah what we want to do with the podcast that's interesting yeah i think that'd be good what do you think you're too vulnerable to talk about then Oh, that's a good question. That's, you on the spot. I, I think that's a story question almost to leave us uh, for later on. I don't know that it's too much, but I think there's, um, you know, for me personally, there's some uh, things I wrap my head around about where do I want, what do I want my business to be mm -hmm. and what do I want, want to build it as. I think I'm a bit different than certain businesses because I am not trying to create, you know, a repeatable business that grows and I sell. My business is very much me as a professional and the journey of me as a professional that I'm on, I need to leave a lot of room open to learn new things. I've, I, you know, I alluded to, um, you know, helping someone launch like a financial software business in the United States stumble into these neat projects partly because i need time to like get into the rooms where those things come up mm -hmm. right which isn't necessarily what i would do if my only goal was say 
a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Um, So there's all a big struggle in there in terms of um, designing a business that's making money that would be similar to anyone with like that's delivering a specific service or bricks and mortar Mm -hmm. where a lot of that key to profit is repeatability and growth and scale. Mm -hmm. Um, I still have some of those same fundamentals, but you know, it's sometimes hard to just, you know, share some of that stuff live because I don't necessarily know, but at the same time, I'm not afraid to share it. Mm -hmm. Um, And in some cases it helps me, when I talk out loud, like clarify what some of those goals are or just show people that I have a different maybe personality than the people I typically work with. For sure. Yeah. Interesting. Which is kind of neat. So um, awesome. This has been, I think, a good uh, coaching. If you would like to be um, a guest on this type of coaching episode, if you would like us to help you create you know, your website, some content. If you'd like to have an episode like that, we'd love to do it. Uh, You can reach out to us at setitup at coworthasmallbusinesspodcast.ca.